Yep, me again. Ongoing with our analysis of the MSBS system. Today I'd like to just look at the indexation issue. And you might say, but hang on, we're talking about MSBS, that's a market-based system. It's not. It has, actually it's a hybrid system. And it has a component where indexation plays a vital role in ensuring or degrading that, what we would say, the members' entitlements. Do the members care? Of course they care. They're busy, they're darn busy, and we know that. But the problem is, of course, they're very limited what they can say about their system publicly. Um, and that's one of the joys of being in the military. You've got to do what you're told. Uh, and you can't voice your opinion, but we are concerned. And we're concerned if you just go to the current military superannuation uh, pamphlet. Um, it was printed in July of 2011, so it's you know, just a bit over six months old. And in it, it says that your pension will be fully indexed at the CPI rate twice yearly so that a dollar in 2011, when it was printed, will retain its value in 2028. Now, I'll concede one thing. In 2028, there will still be 100 cents in the dollar, but I guarantee you it hasn't retained its value. CPI can't do that, and the government knows it can't. We've told them over and over again. DFWA has written to them. ADSO has written fact sheets telling them where, where they're wrong and claiming that indexation at the CPI rate will do it. They know it themselves because otherwise, why on earth did they change the pensioners' indexation system to a new scheme in 2009? Because they knew that CPI was making forcing the pensioners further and further into poverty, and that's exactly what they're doing to the military people. The servicemen, both in the old DFRDB and the MSBS, are being impacted by a, a false indexation rate that does not capture the rising cost of living. So it loses its purchasing power. We need to bring all military superannuation in line with the same mechanism that's used to look after the pensioners and beneficiaries. That living cost index that now applied to them since 2009 that picks up wage increases that distort the cost of living more than what the CPI is just picking up with inflation. Does it mean anything? I'll give you an example. A good friend of mine, a Lieutenant Colonel in the Army, served a number of years, went to Vietnam, decorated a great troop, a great troop. He retired in 1987 and his retirement pay was 35.5% of his then salary as Lieutenant Colonel. Okay? It was his defined benefit. It's what he'd been promised when he joined the service. It's a vested commitment by the government that's struck in stone when you sign on the dotted line. So he went away merrily into his retirement with that percentage that he knew he was going to get all along if he left after those number of years service. Now he's getting 19% of the current Lieutenant Colonel's salary. That strikes home to you just how important it is to get the indexation right. You can't retain your purchasing power, your living standards, if you index at CPI. The troops aren't looking, uh, looking for a special indexation that lets them live in luxury. No, we're looking for everyone, both those serving and those who have served this nation, we're looking for them to be given what it is they were promised on day one when they joined, their defined benefit, a percentage of their retirement pay. I'll explain more why this is so important when we get around looking at the retained benefits that are from the employer that the Commonwealth currently retains under the MSBS system until you reach your preservation age. That'll be in the next video. What I want you to understand here is that CPI is unfair and it must be corrected. If you want to find out more, go to the Stand2 website, www.stand2.org, and read there and look at the previous videotapes, look at the, listen to the radios, look at the articles. That will explain why we've got to get this corrected. The government can't keep pulling the wool over the troops' eyes because they've seen through it. Thank you.